America. This is Keith, your friendly neighborhood technician, coming back at you with some more good information about partial fill washers versus full fill washers. Okay, what that means is you have the ability to put water in your machine that you think you should have versus the precise fill or the partial fill is the machine decides how much water you need. Okay, what that looks like is if you look on this machine here. I've got a small, medium, large, super, and then I have what's called a precise fill. Okay. These are anywhere from half, two quarters, little, almost full, and then completely full of water. And they also have the precise fill, which then determines how much water you want to put in it. Okay. So this is basically what you grew up with as kids and what your parents had pretty much maximum water, throw it in, and go. Now, the thing which is nice about this is when you decide how much water you want, you can use too much detergent. Now, if you go with the precise fill here on this one, okay, you have to make sure you use the HE detergent because you're going to get maybe, maybe a little more than a quarter to a third full of water for the clothes you put in there. Depends on, now if you put in a big old comforter and a bunch of things like that, yeah, it's going to fill a lot more. But the average person's load doesn't get more than half full when you use a precise fill here. But when you use the selection sizes, this tells the machine how much water to put. It's either going to be, you know, 20, 40, 60, or 80 percent full of water. Okay. Obviously, don't use your comforter when with the low fill. But for most of us, medium to large is all you'd ever use. And that'll be like as anywhere from 60 to 80 percent full. Okay. Now over here we have a machine that has no water lines whatsoever. This is a partial fill, a precise fill, a perfect fill. Depends on the manufacturer's terminology of what they want to call it. What it does, <coughs> excuse me, is you put your clothes in and then it actually weighs the clothes in the machine. And how much do clothes weigh determines how much water it's going to put in. Now, the more clothes you put in, the heavier the load, the more water it will put in to cover. But it's never going to float your clothes like the, the uh, full fills will. There will. The clothes will be a lot closer together. And the reason the clothes are closer together is when they agitate, the clothes themselves actually rub up against each other doing the cleaning. Whereas in your, in your uh, full fill, they have an agitator. This actually, so the clothes will actually float with water between them, and the agitator is what actually beats the clothes clean. So yes, no, you're not getting as much water in this, and the clothes themselves are rubbing against each other, cleaning them, which is a much more delicate way of cleaning the clothes. Doesn't get your clothes abused, and it basically allows your clothes to last longer. This is what this all is going to, is going to be the precise fills. It's going to be the you know perfect fill, whatever you want to call it. But this is where it's going because we as a, as a society use entirely too much water and too much soap on things that we don't really need that much. Now, if you want to find out if you're using too much soap, take your wash, get it done, okay? Take it in the dryer, dry it. Now, once it comes out of the dryer, dip a corner of a towel together and rub the corner really, really fast together. If you start seeing bubbles and suds, you're using entirely too much soap on your machine. Okay, so you want to start cutting down on that. That's a real easy way to tell if you're actually using too much soap. So, personally, like I said, I have this older style. I don't have a precise fill on mine. My washer from 1982 or three, something like that. It's an old thing. And I'll eventually upgrade and I will eventually go up to something like this that has the precise fill. Just because if I'm gonna spend the money, the price between this and this isn't that much different, so might as well go something that's gonna be a little healthier to the environment. So don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, and you folks have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.